in the name of Jesus. There's going to be a new law that will come out that will allow a sex change without a parent's consent. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, there's going to be a new law that's going to come out. Hallelujah. That's going to give people or children the right to get sex changes without their parents' consent. Consent. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, there will be a and parents in Washington state losing rights when it comes to making medical decisions for their children seeking transgender treatments. National correspondent Kayla Gaskins has more now from DC. Children in Washington state will soon not need their parents permission to switch genders. It really is an assault on parental rights. It's an assault on children. The governor indicating he will sign the legislation into law, allowing kids to run away from home and seek gender affirming care with no legal obligation for adults to contact their parents. Instead of getting to the root cause and partnering with parents to get them real treatment, the state is stepping in and medically kidnapping children from their parents. They're they're promoting family separation is what it is. Republican State Representative Jim Walsh firmly against the measure. I don't think parents who are loving, supportive parents who may be having an argument with their teenage child should be cut out of that child's life. I think that's very, very dangerous ground. In Utah, State Senator Mike Kennedy's home was vandalized after he sponsored a bill banning gender affirming surgery and puberty blockers for minors. Equality Utah, one of the state's biggest LGBTQ plus advocacy groups, putting out a statement condemning the vandalism, writing, quote, these heinous acts do not help LGBTQ Utahns. Utah, one of at least 11 states to pass laws barring minors from receiving gender affirming care. The title itself is very misleading. You know, these patients are not being given true informed consent, and this is actually destructive uh, care. The reason that there's so much pushback is we are seeing lives destroyed. Last week, Minnesota lawmakers passing a bill establishing the state as a trans refuge for kids denied gender care elsewhere. More are fleeing their home states asking where they should turn. The organized political movement that has targeted my community is at work in every state that touches ours. More than a dozen other states are currently considering implementing their own bans or restrictions on gender affirming care for minors. In Washington, I'm Kayla Gaskins.